In Creo Parametric 9.0 and 10.0, a new general profile tolerance was added to the GDNT advisor, and it is simple and brilliant. Let's take a look at how to use it. Here I have a part model that I used in a previous video. I created a couple of geometric tolerances. Let's go to the Applications tab, and then here is GDNT Advisor. And now I'm going to click on the Show Hide Constraint State button, and you can see that it is highlighting two surfaces that are fully constrained and then there are none that are partially constrained. You can see that a whole bunch are unconstrained. And then there's this fourth state for constrained by surface profile in notes. Let's take a look at creating a surface profile in a note. So let me turn off the show hide constraint state. And now I'm going to click on the edit properties button. And this opens up a dialog box. Right now it shows us the dimensions and tolerances tab where you can change your standard. Let's go to the properties and notes tab. And so here are six different notes that are configured for you that you could show on your model in a flat to state note. And here we have the fourth one, which is the general profile. I'm going to select it from the not displayed group and then move it to the displayed group. And then I will click on it in the displayed group. And you can see that the note text is going to be unless otherwise specified, and then dollar sign general profile tall applies to all surfaces. So you can set up this parameter for the general profile tolerance. And in this model, let me just use 0.1 for the value. And I will click on the OK button. And you can see that now we have our flat to screen notes with the general profile tolerance. Now when I go to the show hide constraint state, well, instead of all those different surfaces being gray, showing that they were unconstrained, they're now showing up in that bluish color because they are constrained by the surface profile in the note. And so this general profile tolerance note, this was added in Creo Parametric 9.0. In Creo Parametric 10.0, they added the semantic references whereby it will automatically collect all the different surfaces that don't have any surface profiles specified for them, and it'll use it in here. And let's say I go about adding some more tolerance features and apply some surface profile tolerances to some other different surfaces from the operations drop down menu here is the command to update the general profile references so the correct surfaces will be highlighted so there you have it that is the new general profile tolerance